here in Washington. Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. My colleague Rena Nainan will join us in a moment. President Trump is refusing to say whether or not he will pardon Roger Stone, a convicted longtime associate. This afternoon, the president praised the Justice Department for intervening in Stone's case. I want to thank the Justice Department for seeing this, this horrible thing. And I didn't speak to him, by the way, just so you understand. They saw the horribleness of a nine-year sentence for doing nothing. You have murderers and drug addicts, they don't get nine years. Nine years for doing something that nobody even can define what he did. Somebody said he put out a tweet, and the tweet, you based it on that. We have killers, we have murderers all over the place, nothing happens. And then they put a man in jail and destroy his life, his family, his wife, his children. Nine years in jail, it's a disgrace. The president's comments come after senior Justice Department officials intervened to lessen Roger Stone's recommended sentence. Four federal prosecutors then quit the case. Those officials who intervened came from Attorney General William Barr's office. The president thanked Barr on Twitter for, quote, taking charge. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump is continuing his post-impeachment retribution campaign. Last night, the White House withdrew the nomination of former U.S. Attorney Jessie Liu. She was nominated for a top post in the Treasury Department. Liu oversaw several prosecutions referred to the Justice Department by former special counsel Robert Mueller. Earlier, my colleague Rena Ninen spoke to CBS News White House correspondent Paula Reed about Stone and why Barr intervened. Well, we're getting two different answers, one coming out of the Justice Department and one coming off of the president's Twitter account. The Justice Department's official explanation here is that the White House, the Justice Department never discussed this case. They were quick to point out that the attorney general and the president had not spoken in the 24 hours preceding this decision. Their version of events is that the lead prosecutor on this case, who had formerly worked for special counsel Robert Mueller, did not accurately convey information about the sentence that he was going to recommend to headquarters, to the main justice. So they say when the attorney general found out about this recommendation, he objected and he intervened. They say it was all just a big miscommunication. Problem is, Rena, that is completely undermined uh, by what the president has tweeted. Uh, just hours before they sought this sentencing reduction, President Trump tweeted uh, about this case, calling it, quote, horrible and a miscarriage of justice. And this morning, as you said in the introduction, the president congratulated the attorney general for intervening in this case, raises serious questions about the Justice Department's independence, uh, the president's sort of post-acquittal behavior. Even one of his allies, Senator Joe Kennedy, said this morning, look, this tweet, it's problematic. What did the recommended sentencing guidelines say Stone should have received? You're a lawyer, Paula. Is, are these normal recommendations? This, there's nothing normal about this situation. For Maine Justice, the headquarters of the Justice Department, to override career prosecutors who had overseen this case in this way, this is incredibly unusual. Though it is important to point out, it will ultimately be up to the judge in the case to decide what kind of sentence that he 